Jared here from soundguitarlessons.com. This is another episode of my series called Make It a Chord Melody. And in this lesson, we are going to be talking about how to improvise chord melodies in a jazz context. So we're improvising jazz chord melodies, which means that we are playing melodies, but we're supporting every instance of the melody with a chord shape. There's a link to the playlist of the series in the description. I got to pop in here real quick. The outline you're seeing on the screen here is for four different videos. It was originally outlined for one video and I broke it up into four videos. So right now we are on major seven. We're gonna do the chord melody outlining process for the major seven chord. Check out the link in the description for the series to see the minor seven and dominant seven chord melody process. And there's a bunch of tune arrangements in that chord melody series as well, both jazz and otherwise. Uh, let's move on with uh, doing our chord melody process for the major seven chord. Okay, are we ready to do this on major seven? Let's do it. We're gonna do C major seven. Here's the five, here's the major seven, here's the root, here's the three, here's the five. Mapping out the chord tones. Okay, that was our step one that we've been doing. Let's do the chord inversions. Oh, one of my favorite sounds. So you got the half step in there. First inversion with five on top. Here's second inversion with seven on top. Root on top, third on top. Five on top again. Okay, now we're gonna make the chords easier or sound better to us. This one is too hard to jump to, uh, to play as chord melody when melodies are faster. I use this, the same shape that we used for minor seven, three on top. Well, this is five on top major. And now this is three, six, nine, five. Okay, and then I'll keep this one the same. And then I'll keep this one the same. And then the three on top of a major seven, I like to play as major six, because it's easier to get to. Okay, so here's the shapes. Okay, obviously drill them is the next step, and then map out the full major scale for yourself. If you wanna map out the scale, one, seven, one, two, one, seven, six, five, four, three. If you don't know how to count around on the fretboard like that and just start with any number and then um, figure out what the scale is, one, two, three, four, five, six, based on whole steps, half steps, and distances, my chord theory series goes through that in depth from the ground up and you will definitely know how to do it after watching that series. So check it out, there's a link in the description if you need to uh, learn about that. Let's fill out the full scale with the chords. Five on top, okay, well this is seven on top, just take away the seven. And then you get a major six chord, six and seven can replace each other. Here's the root on top, this is the hardest one to jump to. Here's two on top, where just the pinky's gonna go down. Replace the root, here's three on top, okay. Um, here's that five again. Obviously we have to deal with four. Okay, now four, this is new. On a major seven chord, I do not harmonize four. It's never gonna be harmonized with a major seven chord. It's a passing tone, always. You could play it with nothing. And it sounds fine, but I play it with a diminished seven chord shape. So now, And that's a more advanced concept that can be used in more places, but this is the one place where even at the most basic level, I just always use it on the four of major seven. Sounds quite nice, right? To have that little tension in there and then resolve. So here's the scale notes again, nice and slowly for us. Five on top, six on top, seven, one, two, three, four, Five, back down, four, three, two, one, seven, six, five. Obviously drill that, improvise, drill it first, up and down, then improvise with it a little bit. Remember those can be so simple, don't let that, don't let it overwhelm you or sound intimidating that you're just playing a scale out of order and breaking up the rhythm a little bit and it doesn't have to sound good for it to count as you improvising. Um, it'll get better. So 
the last step is to try to apply it to something even just as one chord. So here's a common jazz standard, all of me. And I just have the first uh, eight measures showing for you, but we have a C major seven for two measures where, you know, you can play a little bit of the vocabulary of chord melody and then move on to uh, the whatever else, you know, you might play even if you don't have those other chords down. <laughs> Had that set on a weird playback <laughs> that I, I didn't mean it for to, to be that um, backing track uh, setting, but that's okay. Still showed the point that I used chord melody here and then played just whatever single note here. And we're just in this world where we're saying, what if we only know chord melody of C major seven or major seven only? We don't know the others yet. Well, you can still just pop in with it and have it be very cool uh, in your playing. If you want some chord melody arrangements to study closely, there's tabs and notation. Get my solo guitar arrangement pack. There's solo guitar arrangements, but also specifically some chord melody arrangements and some stuff in between. So you can check it out in detail where I use these exact voicings on several tunes like Fly Me to the Moon and Black Orpheus. And you can see, oh yeah, that that's the arrangement and the language unfolding. And you can see it on paper. If you want to get that, there's a link in the description to grab it totally for free. Or you can go to soundguitarlessons.com slash moon to download it there. So make sure you check out the other videos in this series so you have the minor seven chord, the dominant seven chord, major seven chord was this video, and then next Tuesday, we're gonna put it together in two, five, one chord progressions with a couple really important exercises. I'll put the link to these series on the screen here if you're watching on YouTube, or you can go get it in the description. Hope to see you in those lessons. Thanks for watching. Take care, happy practicing.